Hi, today I prepared another um, video about population genetics and here is a problem. If the genotypes uh, homozygous dominant, heterozygous and homozygous recessive have frequencies 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 respectfully, uh, what are the P or frequency of the dominant allele, Q or frequency of the recessive allele after a single generation of random mating? What is the expected frequency of the homozygous dominant, heterozygous and homozygous recessive genotypes? If you feel that you can solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready with your results, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, I want to start uh, with... Uh, uh, listing all the genotypes and their frequencies, so it would be more convenient for us to work. So here we have three genotypes. First genotype is homozygous dominant, and its frequency is 0 0.5. Also we have a genotype that is heterozygous, and its frequency is 0 0.25. And also we have homozygous recessive genotype, and its frequency is also 0 0.25. And uh, also I want to state that uh, all the alleles um, P plus alleles Q, and here uh, for the P stands dominant allele, capital A, and for the Q stands uh, recessive allele, or um, small a, if we add all these uh, alleles, we should get number 1. Uh, so, uh, as you see, uh, here, we have, if we add all these numbers, uh, we are going to get 1. So, so far, so good. Now, uh, how we are going to find frequencies, and this is very easy. Uh, so we have to add uh, to this number, we have uh, two alleles uh, dominant A here, half the number of uh, this number, because here we have uh, half dominant alleles and half recessive alleles. So uh, we have to add one half of this number, and the answer here would be frequency of the uh, dominant allele A would be uh, 0 0.625 and uh, the same way we can find frequency of the uh, recessive allele once again we have to add this number and half of the heterozygous genotype. So we can uh, use just the uh, same method uh, as I show in, in the first example when we were um, uh, looking for the frequency of the dominant allele, or we can use this formula here. If we know P allele, that is dominant allele A, we can find Q, we just have to uh, minus from 1 the frequency of the allele dominant A, and we find that this is 0 0.625, and the answer here would be 0 0.375, and this is going to be a frequency of the recessive allele A. So uh, now we know frequency of the dominant allele, now we know the frequency of the recessive allele, and uh, this would be answer for the first question. So this is frequency of the dominant allele, and this is frequency of the recessive allele. So now we are ready to answer second question, and let me use a different color, so this would be distinctive from the first uh, question. And in order to find uh, expected frequency of the three genotypes in the following generation, we have to use a Hardy-Weinberg formula. And here, 
for the frequency of the three genotypes. Uh, here is a uh, formula of the Hardy-Weinberg. So P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared and all these uh, genotypes according uh, to this when we add up all the three genotypes this should equal to 1. So and for the P squared uh, this is going to be homozygous dominant genotype here we would have heterozygous genotype and for the Q squared we have uh, homozygous recessive genotype and um, now we have uh, numbers here we know the frequency of the allele P so this is going to be allele P and this is going to be allele Q and uh, we can use these numbers in order to find uh, allelic frequency in this uh, generation so uh, we know that Q equals to 0 0.75 here is this number this is frequency of the recessive allele uh, small a and how we can find for example this number uh, in this formula so if we know Q we can find Q squared we just have to square uh, number Q and this is uh, 0 0.375 uh, squared and if we square this number the answer going to be 0 0.14 so this is uh, Q squared and this is frequency uh, here uh, so now we can find also P squared because we know P and this is number P or the frequency of the dominant allele A and once again uh, according to this formula P square stands for the homozygous dominant condition or frequency of this genotype. So um, P squared would equal to uh, 0 0.625 also squared. And the answer here would be 0 0.39. This is going to be frequency of the uh, uh, homozygous dominant genotype that is uh, capital A capital A and here we have frequency for the homozygous recessive genotype so now we have to find only uh, heterozygous genotype here and uh, this is going to be easier we just have to multiply um, so uh, to PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype that is capital A small a and we have to multiply 2 by number P and uh, here is the number P of the first generation so we have to multiply by 0 0.625 and by number Q and number Q is here so this is uh, 0 0.375 and the answer here would be frequency of this uh, heterozygous genotype would be 0 0.47 so we have uh, now three numbers so this is frequency of the heterozygous genotype here and we have three numbers and this is would be uh, frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype and this is frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype and this is frequency of the heterozygous genotype and let's now compare with uh, numbers that we start with so this is um, frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype and here is the frequency of the do uh, homozygous dominant genotype as you see these frequencies are different 
Here is the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype and here is the frequency of the homozygous uh, recessive genotype in the first generation or parent generation. And as you see, these numbers are also different. As long as the different numbers for the homozygous, uh, for the heterozygous genotype, and as you see, in the second generation, uh, the frequency of the heterozygous genotype increased, uh, probably because uh, this uh, community not in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, meaning that uh, uh, whether this community is uh, small. Uh, and uh, there also can be genetic drift or also there can be um, some different factors like a different fitness of uh, different genotypes. So as you see, uh, this genotype has um, probably higher uh, fitness, meaning uh, that survival of this genotype uh, would be... Uh, better than these two genotypes. Uh, for example, uh, life example, uh, if we have uh, uh, incomplete dominance here, and uh, this uh, genotype stands for three colors, for example, this would be red, this would be white, and this intermediate, if we have incomplete dominance, would be uh, pink, or better, let's take this uh, black, white and gray. And if, uh, for example, this would be three colors of the butterflies, so this intermediate color uh, probably would be better match with the color of the bark and birds who prey on these butterflies probably would uh, prey more on this and this uh, genotypes or these colors. So fitness of this intermediate color would be better than uh, both uh, homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. So there can be many explanations. So I won't go into more detail. Uh, I hope that you solve this problem correctly, or at least now you know how to solve this problem. And the last comment, uh, if you want to check if we got the correct answer, we have to add uh, all these three frequencies. And according to our formula uh, here, uh, all these frequencies, when we add them up, should equal to 1. So let's do it. If we add 0 0.47 and 0 0.14, we are going to get 0 0.61 plus 0 0.39, we are going to get 1. So those frequencies change it from what we start with uh, in parental uh, generation, we still uh, got one here. So our solution is correct. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.